Welcome back to another Baldur's Gate 3 video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a legendary weapon called the Blood of Lathander in under five minutes. It is a radiant mace that has some pretty insane effects like sunbeams and free resurrections and stuff. It's massively good. So I highly recommend you get this for your cleric or whatever class you choose to put it on. And uh, yeah, with that said, let's dive on in. First, you will need to make your way to the Rosy Morn Monastery. This will be on the mountain pass direction you need to go, which is going to be on the way to Act 2, but before you hit Act 2. Upon reaching this monastery, you will notice a cracked window which you need to jump through and get inside. There will be some rather explosive sleeping cabals that you will need to face off against, but should be fairly easy to fight off. You will take a path up to the roof and enter this room where you will be ambushed by monsters. I would highly recommend you have some decent melee attacks or non-magical attacks as magic kind of like buffs them in a weird way. In this room there will be a scroll of invisibility so you should pick that up and save it for later. And as you continue onward you will find a room with a few pedestals in which you will need to find a few weapons to put them there. Walking outside, you will notice a rather large hill that will lead you up to the first weapon, which will be near a graveyard. You just need to dig down and grab the item. Afterwards, head to the rooftop. There are plenty of vines that will take you up there and you will find some eagles that are looking for a fight. I will recommend that you attack them and let them summon the extra ads that you can get a bit more extra XP, but take this fight as you like. I just like the extra XP. Once you kill the eagles on the ground, not on the body, there will be a weapon for you to pick up and it'll be like near the nest. So just be mindful of that. Afterwards, you need to head downward. You can go through the vines and unlock a door or go to the back of the room where you have the pedestals. And there'll be like a magic armor guy guarding another item that you need to pick up. Lock pick the door or head that way, whichever way you want to do it and grab it. Afterwards, you just need to go back to the room and place the items on the corresponding pedestals and then just grab the item that's within the door. Should be fairly easy to see. From here, you will head to the hole in the monastery that you've probably been jumping over. This is the one that leads to the, like the magic armor room and use the featherfall scroll or spell that you have and jump down safely. Once down there, you will touch a statue plaque and then walk down the corridor and head into the Githyanki stronghold. Once inside, this is part of the main quest, so there's going to be some stuff you need to do or choose to do is up to you. Do all the conversations and then you will head to the east and then you will head towards the Gith Yankee classroom. There you will see a force field that will be shut. Either you can kill the lady with the key, which I didn't do personally, or you can use a scroll of invisibility that we saved earlier and maybe hit yourself with guidance from Shadowheart or any sleight of hand checking items and just steal it from her. Should she come after you after you yoink it, you can pay her the 200 gold or just persuade her it was a ghost or something and then you can head down the corridor. Now there's going to be some things you need to take care of in this area that I'm not going to spoil because it's story related, but do your thing and you're going to be looking for an area in the back left of the room with two statues. Now, before you touch these statues, be sure to save because one requires a athletic saving throw and sometimes it simply won't work unless you're really athletic and you may have to fail this and try again. So highly recommend you save before doing this. The one on the right you need to face south, the one on the left you need to face north, and it will open a secret door. Once you're in there, there will be a couple of magic crystals that you need to shoot down. There are three in total, and there's also multiple traps with a light coming out of them. You can't miss them. Just don't stand in front of them because they will push you off the map and instantly kill you. You can easily disarm these. Um, but do what you wish here. You can teleport whatever it is you have. But once you finish this, it'll take you to the blood of Lathander room, which you can go ahead and pick up. But keep in mind when you go and pick this up it's going to lock you in place and you're going to need to break the person out by killing some like beams. That's kind of like stopping it. I would highly recommend that you um, use your melee character to go pick it up and use your range or magic characters to break them out. And you have to do this within four turns. I have no clue what will happen in those four turns because I finished it, but that's all you need to do. Once you do that, you can get them out and you have a really good legendary mace. All right, there you have it, guys. That is all you need to know to get the legendary mace, the blood of Lathander in under five minutes. If this quick guide helped you guys out, help me out by liking as well as subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next Baldur's Gate 3 video very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.